Robot design tip number 10. Assemblies contain a 3D arrangement of parts or other assemblies. Let's create a new assembly. We have two components, the axle and the gear. In order to position the axle the way it will be used in the assembly, turn on Origins and let's insert some reference geometry. Click Insert, Reference Geometry, Axes. The orientation of the axle in the assembly requires an axis on the front plane and the top plane. This will aid you in assembling the axle in the correct orientation. When you insert a component into the assembly and select the origin, it is fixed to the origin. Right click on the component and select Float. Now the axle is free to rotate and translate. You can display the axes of the individual component. You want to mate this axis with the reference axes inside the assembly. Select Mate. Select the two axes. Coincident is selected by default. Now the axle is repositioned inside the assembly to the orientation on how it will be utilized in the next higher level assembly. The axle is still free to translate along the axis. Select the origin of the assembly. Select the origin of the axle component. Coincident is selected by default. Click OK. Now you have rotational motion. The axle will rotate about the reference axes. Insert the gear component into the assembly. Position the gear component in the graphics window. Now let's look at the mates. Click View Planes. Remember how you developed a reference plane halfway between the tooth of the gear. This will allow you to mate the center point of that gear tooth onto a particular plane of the axle. When mating gears, it is important to have this alignment. Select the plane of the gear. Select the front plane of the axle. Notice how I mated the gear to the axle, not to the assembly front plane. That way, if I want to take this sub-assembly of the axle and the gear into another higher level assembly, the mates will be appropriate. Utilize concentric between the cylindrical face of the gear and the axis of the axle. Now the gear is free to rotate, but cannot translate. You require one more mate. I'm going to utilize a parallel mate, but cannot see the inside square face of the gear. Rotate the component and use zoom in so that you can see faces clearly. You can also utilize right click select other or hide components when trying to find faces that are not in clear view. You want to create a parallel mate between the inside square face of the gear and the square face of the axle. Notice how I utilized parallel. If I used coincident I would receive an error because there is a fit interference. SolidWorks can determine interference inside the mates of the assembly and also for more complex interference through tools interference detection. The gear and axle are free to rotate about the reference axes. Remember, in robotic design, you want to assemble according to the motion of the robot.